Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Helena. Welcome back to my channel, Helena's Astrophotography. Um, so first off, you'll notice that Luna um, is a little bit higher off the ground. Um, that's because my dad kindly made her a little stand uh, to go on. So this means that uh, she's like this much more off the ground. Um, in my previous video, uh, I mentioned about the dome being that little bit too low to see a certain amount through the bottom flap. Um, now I can see that bit through the bottom flap, um, so this uh, means I don't have to go out in the garden uh, and move the telescope about. I can keep Luna um, up here in the observatory, which is great. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to attach a DSLR camera, so the one I'm filming on now, the Canon EOS 1100D, um, onto uh, a 10-inch Dobsonian. This may work with Orion telescopes. Um, you guys out there with Orion Dobsonians um, and Newtonians, uh, leave a comment down below uh, and tell me whether it works or not. I haven't done enough uh, research into that yet, um, but I hope it works for you guys. But I know it's going to work for the Skywatcher Dobsonian range. So yeah, so I'm going to be shooting on my GoPro Hero 5 because um, obviously I'm going to have, have to attach this camera uh, to the Dubsonian and I'll give you a little tutorial on how to do it. Uh, hopefully it's simple enough. I know most of you guys that, that watch my channel are really advanced, uh, more advanced than me um, in this, but I just thought I'd give this tutorial. I thought I'd start the tutorial small and work up uh, as we get through the weeks. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, so let's get on with attaching the camera. To the hey guys, so I'm now shooting on my GoPro Hero 5. Uh, as you know, I use my EOS 1100D uh, to take photos from my telescope and film my YouTube videos, so I couldn't do um, both at once, so I'm using my GoPro um, to shoot this video. Now, as I said earlier, I know this works with the Skywatcher telescope range. I really hope it works um, for you people who use uh, Orion out there. Um, if it does, leave a comment um, below. So yeah, so first off, you're going to have your lens um, on your camera. You're going to want to take the lens off. So um, if you come to the side, uh, you should see this button. If you push and release, there should be a nice click. And you should be able to just take your lens off um, as easy as that. So we'll just set that one aside. Then, if we come over to the telescope, um, you, should, you need a little adapter uh, called a T-ring. So here, um, if I open up this cap, this is the uh, lens, this is where you look through for um, observational um, astronomy, for looking at the night sky, for looking at planets um, and the like. So you'll notice that there's two little uh, screws, there's one on the opposite side as well, two little screws that I just twist, just takes one little twist and this whole lens comes out just like that. So I'll put that to the side for the moment. Then this, this, um, this bad boy, this is the T-ring. Um, so if we loosen these two screws this time, um, just again, takes little to nothing, then we take the T-ring off the telescope. Now, uh, my lens, uh, my lens adapter is attached to the T-ring, so this just takes a little twist like that, just like that, should come off pretty easily, and um, we don't need that, so we're going to leave that to the side. Um, but this T-ring, this is what we are going to be using uh, today to attach to the camera. So, if I just get my camera um, over, uh, you should be able to see this. Um, if I press the button again, um, it's going to release um, this little knob. Now, on the T-ring, you should find a little, a little white, yeah, there it is, um, really faint, a little white circle. Um, just there, I don't know whether you guys can see that. A little white circle. So you're going to line this up with the little white square. But it's really important that you push the button in. Um, otherwise it's just it's not going to engage um, with the thread. So um, this little white circle connects to this little white dot. You just push and click. And then it goes into the camera. And that is ready to attach onto the telescope. So this is where the T-ring was uh, originally with the lens adapter on it. So all you're going to do is you're going to loosen these screws, make sure there's no uh, screws there that may scrape um, your equipment. And you're just going to slowly place the adapter in. And it's really important that you keep hold of the camera, because if you don't, there's a good chance that it might fall off um, as it's not screwed in properly yet. But tighten these screws really, really tight, um, so you're certain that the camera 
is secure and it's as easy as that guys that is how you attach uh, a DSLR to a telescope now obviously now it's daytime um, and it's raining outside and it's really cloudy which is really unfortunate um, but um, obviously then you can turn the camera on and um, I usually go into live view uh, and do all your fiddly twiddly bits with your settings and stuff uh, take the telescope cap off um, and start shooting uh, I know a lot of you guys will be using CMOS cameras and CCD cameras um, really high quality professional um, cameras uh, I am not investing in one of those yet but um, as I get uh, more into astrophotography and more in depth I will definitely think about investing um, in one of those. We're back to shooting uh, on the Canon camera. I really hope you guys found that video um, informative. Um, as I said, I know a lot of you guys will be using CMOS and CCD cameras and will not need, uh, uh, will definitely not need to know how to do that. But um, for some of you guys who are amateurs, um, like where I started out, uh, that kind of information is really useful um, because it's really um, a hard thing um, to jump into the deep end and figure that sort of thing out yourself um, when you're first starting off a hobby. I certainly um, know that and have experienced that feeling. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys have found that useful um, and now know how to connect um, a camera uh, to a Dobsonian. Um, you guys who have Orion telescopes, I'm, I'm really sorry if it doesn't work out. Um, for use but yeah let me know um, and if it doesn't work out um, and if I end up getting an Orion telescope in the future I will definitely 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 um, give you a tutorial on that on how to do it um, but I'm sure there are more tutorials um, out there for you guys to check out um, other than this one. Before I go um, I've reached around I think it's 220 Facebook likes. Make sure to go and check out my Facebook page if you haven't already, Helena's Astrophotography, because if I don't post something on YouTube um, and I need to update you guys on what's going on, maybe I've missed a video or something, I'm going to miss a video or an upload, um, I will let you guys know uh, via there, so make sure you give it a like. Um, thank you guys, thank you guys so much um, for the people who have liked it, it really means a lot. I mean 220, that's a lot of you guys that are interested um, in watching my content, um, so I really appreciate that. And we're at 105 YouTube subscribers, I am, I'm over the moon, thank you guys so much for the support, it really means a lot. I didn't think we would get here this quickly. I, I had this idea we would we I knew we'd get here um I had the confidence and the faith um but I didn't think we'd get here um this quickly so I'm really um I'm really really I really appreciate that um that you guys have decided to come along on the journey with me. So yeah, um I hope you guys are all well, um I hope the clear skies are holding up for you. Um but until then, happy stargazing. <laughs>